In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to use the debugger windows in Robot C and look at where our sensors are at for values. So I have a simple code. It has a start motor, which was a left motor. It's going to go until I bump and hit the bump switch, and then it's going to stop that motor. I'm ready to compile this and download it to my robot, so I'm going to click the download to robot button. Now before I hit the start button on that little pop-up screen, I'm going to do one step beforehand. I'm going to go up to the robot button across the top bar. I click that. and About halfway down this menu, I see something called a debugger window. When I highlight my mouse over debugger window, I'm going to go down and find the word sensors and click on that the bottom of my screen, the window where I usually get error messages in my program, is now being used to show me what value all the sensors are at. I have a line follower attached. It's reading about 3,000. As I go and hold my hand over that, the values should change. I go down to about 1,000 and then down to 800. As I take my finger off of the line follower, I notice that that number goes up. The next one down is a potentiometer. I also have that connected. And as I turn the potentiometer, I see the values go up. Both the line follower and the potentiometer can range in value from 0 to 4095. So my potentiometer, if I rotate it the opposite direction, I now see that the numbers go down. Limit switch, I have a limit switch attached. I press that and I either get a 1 or a 0. That's what a digital switch will do. It will either be on or it will be off. There's no range of values that it can encompass. The bump switch is the last thing I have attached and when I press that I also see that I get a value of either 0 or 1. The debugger window is a great way to see if everything is plugged in correctly and make sure that the switches work if I'm trying to track down an error somewhere in my code.